Morning God Minute. What a blessing it is to be in prayer with all of you and our wonderful team this beautiful Lenten Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Father Ron. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. Psalm 33, Praise of God's Power Rejoice, you righteous in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, on the ten-string lyre, offer praise. Sing to him a new song, skillfully play with joyful chant. For the Lord's word is upright, all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. The earth is full of the mercy of the Lord. By the Lord's word, the heavens were made by his breath, all creation. He gathers the waters of the sea as a mound. He sets the deep into storage vaults. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world show him reverence. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 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 A reading from Psalm 102, verses 2 and 3. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When was the last time you expressed your vulnerability to someone? Was it in the company of a friend or a stranger? Do you remember what drew you to be so vulnerable? Was it trust, exhaustion, the need for relief, closeness, or simply a moment of carelessness? Truth be told, being vulnerable is all these emotions and moments sometimes even at once. Seldom is vulnerability a clean, neat expression of emotion, or for that matter, a moment brought about by a single cause. Basically, it's a big deal to pour our hearts out. So we learn to be cautious, guarded, and distant. We shy away from expressing our raw emotions around friends and strangers alike. We become adept in our emotional social etiquette, choosing to keep our emotional selves in check and in place. Today's psalm, however, takes us back to the place of vulnerability, reminding us of the depth, breadth, and complexity of our shared human emotions. It places us face to face with a God who is near us and hears us. Not shying away from vulnerability, the psalmist shows us how to empty our hearts in trust, closeness, and plea. O Lord, hear my prayer. Hide not your face. Incline your ear. Answer my call. No need to be guarded, cautious, or distant. Rather, in prayer, we are invited to hear the moving and alarming distress, to make it our own. Let my cry come to you, says Psalm 102, 
for my days are vanishing like smoke, my bones burning like an oven. If we are vulnerable with one another, we can truly admit and identify with the hurting and withering hearts before us. Like the psalmist, we too carry our share of suffering and pain. Like the psalmist, we too have difficult moments when we feel our life is vanishing away and feel our achy bones with little relief. Like the psalmist, we need to come close to the Lord. We need to put our defenses down and allow the healing grace of God to touch us. So let us ask ourselves, what personal cry must come to the Lord this day? What raw emotions in our hearts need to be expressed without guile? Certainly, God's consolation is not far away. All of us know someone right now who is hurting, who is longing for the consolation and the peace of God in their lives. Let's remember them and lift them to the Lord today as we pray our Our Father together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you taught us that we should continue to forgive those who harm and hurt us. In my own life, I hold on to old wrongs and grudges without thinking of your teaching. Help me in these Lenten days to put aside old grievances so that your love may grow ever stronger in my life. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. We turn now to our Blessed Mother, asking her help and protection as we pray. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Beneath your compassion, hear our petitions and rescue us from all temptation. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. And friends, a great update to our God Minute app that you've been asking for. You can now save any day's prayer as a favorite to make it easily accessible later on. So no more scrolling through trying to remember that prayer that really touched you. Now it's all easy and it's all made possible through a generous and thoughtful God Minute listener. Thank you, Leslie, who fronted us the $4,000 to make it happen. So if you'd like to use the favorite feature, there's a quick 60-second video we put together to show you how to do it. It's very simple. And that video is on our app blog or website blog. So check it out. And thank you. Thank you for joining us today in prayer. And may God's blessing and protection go with you this day in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.